I'm addicted to bodybuilding. I have no control over it, and I don't think anyone does. Don't mess with me, baby. Why are we doing heavy, crazy weights six hours a day? Right. It's this pace. So there's no really satiation level. Ugh. I love doing it. I'm not going to stop. I suck my thumb pretty much everywhere I go. It kind of makes me feel important. We're in public. It's kind of weird. I, I just get just very strange looks from people. I'll take the blanket, wrap it around my finger, and then uh, suck my thumb. You want to smell it? No, it doesn't need to be smelled. It needs to be thrown away. The thumb sucking is a, is a coping skill. Sorry. My name's Lauren. I'm 48. I'm from South Orange County. I've been a professional skateboarder, a surf instructor in Hawaii, a firefighter engineer, and now I'm addicted to bodybuilding. <sighs> from the time I was born, I came out and into this world setting records. I was the biggest baby in the hospital to the number one student in my high school. You name it, I do it to the max. I think she's gone too hard her whole life with everything. I have no control over it, and I don't think anyone does. I hated to admit that I was out of control, but I had to. It was either die or get help. It was that extreme. I went through rehab, I did the program, I found something else to consume me and my energy, my efforts, and it was health and fitness. She was like a size four, very petite. Now she looks different from everyone else because she's taken it to the extreme. When people work out vigorously, they may be breaking muscle down in the process of working out. And so when that muscle gets broken down, they're releasing proteins in their body. You follow that by a bunch of protein supplements, you're taxing the kidneys, and something like that could potentially lead to the kidneys shutting down. This is just the morning <laughs> lineup. I take my morning shot of HGH, which is human growth hormone. This is all prescribed through the doctor. It's to maintain lean body mass while burning body fat. <laughs> I start in the morning, I train as long as I do, right. and I never get enough. And I want to live there. <laughs> so I can train day and night. I get such a high off of it. Don't mess with me, baby. Since so last week, I went back to Muscle Beach. I was just gonna do a photo shoot with hair, makeup, tan. I'm like, what the heck, I might as well compete in it. The promoter had asked me two days prior. So I'm like, all right, won the heavyweight. Two days two prior. Two days prior. For competition. My competition. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, I got first place in heavyweight, first place in masters, and then I won the overall championship. I am a dichotomy, because it's, I, I'm girl, but I look strong, so I have male characteristics. Ugh. I actually had a nodule on my uh, vocal cords. It's benign. It may have enlarged from growth hormone. I don't know. People just say, oh, she's a big steroid freak. I don't care what people say. I like my voice. It's part of me. I think it's very sexy, and so do a lot of people that like me. <laughs> Whether it's addiction or not, I cannot and will not stop bodybuilding. I'm Rhonda, I'm 24. I live in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm addicted to sucking my thumb. My first memory of sucking my thumb would probably be when I was about four, and I just never grew out of it. I suck my thumb pretty much everywhere I go. Um, I can suck my thumb while I'm driving, I can do it at the grocery store, at a coffee shop. The thumb sucking was cute up to a certain age, but it's getting to that point where she's just too old now. When I'm in public sucking my thumb, I, I just get just very strange looks from people that think it's weird. Like, it kind of makes me feel important. Maybe there is a part of me that likes the attention, and that's why I do it. This is my blanket, or what's left of it. 
and I smell it while I'm sucking my thumb. What I'll do is I'll take the blanket, wrap it around my finger, and then and then suck my thumb and smell the blanket. If it's time to suck her thumb, she's gonna suck her thumb and she really doesn't care where we are. She basically has that attitude like, if you don't like it, then don't look. Are you really sucking your thumb right now? We're like in a public store. Yeah, I mean, do you have a problem with it? I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. You're my older sister and you're sucking your thumb. I only suck my left thumb and after a few hours, it looks like, you know, when you were in the water for too long and your hands get really crinkly? That's how my thumb looks. <laughs> Just the, the, the fact that the thumb becomes wet over time, the whole nail bed can start to fall apart and people can develop even yeast or fungal infections and even have ulcers that can develop on their extremities as a result of this. I think when I was more stressed out was when my parents were getting divorced. So I think it resulted more into sucking my thumb because it was more comforting for me because that's really all I had at that point. I do feel like I get sick a lot more than the average person, probably because when I do suck my thumb, I don't wash my hands or anything like that. She's getting at that point where she's gonna have a career and hopefully settle down and get married. Is she gonna be sucking her thumb at the same time as her baby? I just think that's a little ridiculous. When I'm at work, I will suck my thumb during the day if I'm feeling like stressed out. My career goals are to be living in New York, working on Wall Street, but I don't think that sucking my thumb is gonna stop me at all. Are you ever gonna stop sucking your thumb? Why does it matter to you? It's not like it's hurting you. I can't even understand what you're saying right now. I don't think that sucking my thumb is a big problem. I don't think I'm hurting anybody by sucking my thumb, so therefore I'm probably not gonna stop anytime soon. I have waived being a mother, so I don't have children. I have waived being a wife, I don't have a husband. I just remember all the things that you had to miss. You gotta lose that blanket, it's embarrassing. You don't need it, you're an adult. But I'm not ready to let go. My name's Lauren, and I'm addicted to bodybuilding. There's nothing that stops me. There's no barriers. I mean, I, I have that blockage from the general public trying to hold me down, people trying to ridicule me, judge me, make fun of me. I have been and seen and done it all. Ouch. These obsessions of mine have not been easy for me as far as my personal life. I mean, I'll be the first to admit, it has suffered. I have waived being a mother, so I don't have children. I have waived being a wife, I don't have a husband. Personal relationships are hard to keep. It really became an obsession with Lauren. I mean, she really became addicted to it and had to do it every day. The way you had to throw yourself into it, I mean, it was so much work. You think? It, it was, Hello? We, we couldn't do anything. You had no time. You were just at the gym all day, every day. Couldn't go out to dinner. How about that food? Mm. Dieting. Oh, that was terrible. That was some nightmare. That was so terrible. I don't know how you life. did it. We'd mm -hmm. all go out to dinner. You were on your special diet, or you'd bring your little piece of broiled chicken. That's right. Half a sweet oh potato for dessert. I just remember all the things that you had to miss. That's right. You know, all you the social train. events that train. we did, and you didn't get to go. Nothing's <laughs> changed. Nothing. I do worry about Lauren um, being so vested in this because she works so hard and I know she's just burning the candle at both ends. I'm Rhonda, I'm 24, and I'm addicted to sucking my thumb. I, I think people make more of a big deal out of it than it really is. I mean, right now I think it's more embarrassing for the people that are with me than anything else. Hello guys, welcome to Putt Putt. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm fine, how are you guys doing today? Good. I met Steven my freshman year of high school and he definitely had a lot of jokes towards me about sucking my thumb and he definitely shared his opinion very openly about what he thought about it. Rhonda's thumb sucking back in high school was like kind of cute, but now it's getting kind of ridiculous, kind of crazy. She's an adult. 
She needs to get rid of it. See, watch this. I can do it with my thumb in my mouth. Uh, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can multitask. Yeah, but you wouldn't have to. He's got two hands. Maybe if you lose the blanket, you'll lose the thumb. You want to smell it? No, you've had that thing for too long. You don't watch it. No, I'm, I'm good. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to smell it. It doesn't need to be smelled. It needs to be thrown away. I have never smelled the blanket, and I will never smell the blanket. You gotta lose that blanket. It's embarrassing. You don't need it. You're an adult. What if you stop sucking your thumb? But I'm not ready to let go. But it could stop you from getting a job or finding someone. Well, if that were the case, then you know, then I would think about it some more. Have you ever thought about like talking to somebody or seeing somebody, therapist, hypnotist? Don't you think talking to them could like release your feelings? And I, I've crossed the idea. I think it would be kind of interesting to see what their thoughts are on it. Well, think about it. I'll keep it in mind. Well, honestly, in 10 to 20 years, I hope to be married and you know have a family. I don't want to be sucking my thumb because it's it's not something that you know to be proud of. At what point are you finding time for me? Yes, for for you. With your parents' divorce, how was that for you? Oh no, let's not talk about that. My name's Lauren, and I'm addicted to bodybuilding. Of course, people have been concerned about me because everything I do is so full on and extreme. So from sports to drugs and alcohol, I do it big. I don't know any different. Once Lauren uh, got through the sobriety program, she decided to get into the bodybuilding and she took it to a whole new level, to the extreme. Joy's been in my life for 23 years. She's been there through my journey as an inspiration and as, and as a sister. Hi, honey. Oh, how are you? Oh, I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good. good. What do you think? How much? How, Getting God. bigger again, I know, You're right? huge. You got really big again. In the last month, right? How much are you working out? It was two hours, then it went to three hours, then it went to four hours, and now I'm up to almost five or six hours. Are you serious? I'm serious. You are working out five to six hours a day? Almost. Well, not straight, but I take all the group classes. I love it. When Lauren first told me that she was going to get into bodybuilding, I didn't really understand. It was definitely shocking because she went from, you know, one extreme to the other and her body changed quite a bit. How are you finding time for anything, Lauren? I get work done and then I still train and then I do cardio. I'm not doing the class again. Doing heavy, crazy weights right now. Why? Why are we doing heavy, crazy weights six hours a day? Well because I like it. <laughs> when is it gonna be enough? Well, it's, no, it's enough now, but I just like the, the lean. Okay. It looks you know, sexy, feminine, lean, but strong. At what point are you finding time for, for me? Yes, for, for you. I'm not, that's the problem. Is it a problem? Do well, you I'm actually gonna talk to somebody, a professional tomorrow and see if what they say about why I'm so completely extreme and obsessed a with, professional with this addictive, like, like a therapist. Well, that's great. Because see, I'm really curious to see what they say why I'm so this addictive behavior. You know what, I give you all the kudos in the world, Lauren, because you are an amazing woman. I want to know what keeps me so in that inner drive. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to change, but Joy's happy to hear I'm going to do it, so. I'm Rhonda, and I'm addicted to sucking my thumb. The only time that I'm not doing is when I'm in the shower, brushing my teeth, <laughs> or blow drying my hair. <laughs> Lately, I've been starting to realize that, you know, I, I'm 24, maybe I should stop. And I thought that seeing a therapist would kind of answer my questions about as to why I haven't been able to give it up. What do you think that you gain from it? It just puts me at ease. It kind of relaxes me. I worry a lot about things. Okay. And so there's always something running through my mind. Have you ever had any um, periods of time where you've stopped? 
The only time that I've um, not is when I've lost my blanket for a couple days. Okay. <laughs> when I lose my <laughs> blanket, I okay. usually don't suck my thumb. Take me back to that that time when you first started to to try to stop sucking your thumb. It was just constant, like my parents were trying to make me stop, my babysitter was trying to get me to stop. Later on, like when my parents got divorced, it was like, it was, it was really there on a comfort basis for me. I know we're talking about an object here, but. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so but, it was a stable, a yes. stable object. Mm -hmm. And what was going on at that time with, um, with your parents' divorce? How was that for you? It was hard because, um, oh no, let's not talk about that, no. Sorry. Because I pick things, Doctor, that are so difficult, I guess there is no cap now. And has that been satisfying and fulfilling for you? The thumb sucking with your blanket is a is a coping skill. How willing are you to try something else? I fear that I'm not gonna be able to have that comfort. It's gonna be a little bit of risk on your part. My name's Lauren and I'm addicted to bodybuilding. I'm just about to go into see a psychologist for the first time to discuss my addictions and certainly why I'm so addicted to bodybuilding. I'm a little anxious about it. I've never done this before. Are there days when you think, oh, I'm tired today? People are worried that I don't rest or I don't relax. You know, I make a joke that I missed that day in school when they taught the word moderation. So it's a little out of balance where it could become excessive to the point where it could impair your relationships or functioning or other areas of your life. People that are concerned about me that I'm sacrificed my personal life because I'm so driven. I wear everybody out. Everybody around me in my inner circle is exhausted. It's this pace. So there's no really satiation level where you go, 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 where you want to achieve here, you go, and then, oh, no, now I need to be here. Because I pick things, doctor, that are so difficult. I guess there is no cap now. With Lauren, her ability or her desire to achieve and overachieve sometimes can be indication that it's never going to be good enough. And that's where addiction can then take over and her life will become unmanageable. Some people have the misperception that if I slow down that I won't be as powerful or I won't be as successful. And the opposite of that is true because the more calm you are, the more effective you will be. And That's, that's true, I proved that. When I sleep and I can't really yes. I can come back that much stronger. <laughs> yeah, we have to have sleep. And that's where no, you're No, I know better. Of Trust course. me, I know. So then we I always say that 888 rule where eight hours for work, eight hours for Lauren, and eight hours for sleep. If we can divide the 24 I hours, like that. that's kind of how we're going to be most successful. That's the ideal balance. Right. And just reflecting upon the day, clearing your mind, the four counts in through the nose, four counts out through the mouth. You can just that feel the body, <laughs> yes, good. relax, mm -hmm. and, and to quiet the mind, because if the mind is quieted, the body will follow. My advice for Lauren is pursue health, wellness, balance in a different way, from an emotional perspective, to be aware of the addictive tendencies, because if she's not aware of that, it can creep in very, very quickly. I don't think there's anything negative about sucking my thumb. If it makes you feel good, then why not do it? The thumb sucking with your blanket is a, is a coping skill. It mm -hmm. just may be a socially unacceptable coping skill, but it's still a coping skill. How willing are you to try something else to replace that? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think that I would like to try it to see, like, where it would go from there. One of the things that I can give you today is called a progressive muscle relaxation. And it's really good for when you're feeling anxious and feeling stressed out and you wanna to try to calm yourself down. All it is is that you tense the muscles starting from your, your head to your toes, one at a time and release them. Mm -hmm. As you do it over time, it continues to, to help you relieve stress. I fear that I'm not gonna be able to have that comfort, but I'm used to it. I'm sucking my thumb. It's going to be a little bit of risk on your part to be willing to try a couple of different things and see how that goes. Okay. I could definitely give it some thought, maybe 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Talking to the therapist today got me definitely thinking about some things. She opened up my eyes to maybe other alternatives and let me see that, you know, maybe I could change. I do see myself eventually stopping. I don't know when. I would hope to give it up someday when I'm ready. I mean, the challenge will be and the goal for me from this day forward would be to manage my time more effectively, to still do my bodybuilding, just spending a little bit more time with my personal friends, a little more time with myself. When that's in order, everything else will follow. If somebody told me that I couldn't work out and now your training days are over, <laughs> you might as well take me out back and shoot me. I can't imagine not being physical. I treat my body like a temple. I work hard, I train hard, I live hard. I'm dedicated to my body and my physique. And the general public can be very cruel and very hurtful. I look this way because I want to, and I do it for a reason, and my reasons are strong, and I'm very passionate about why I work so hard.